All right, so I had to refilm this intro because my audio went bad out of nowhere, but y'all know I went to show this weekend, and when I go to show, I really get kicked in the butt of what to keep versus what not to keep in my barn. So I thought I would go over everything with y'all, and also I have a, a bit of insight for another video coming up on who I already butchered, and we'll go more in depth on that because they're all grow outs. So you can kind of get an idea of stock that I don't want to keep and why right off the bat at like 10 to 12 weeks. With that being said, if y'all stay towards the end of the video, I have a super duper special surprise for you. So let's hop into it. So this is two, um, two was on her third strike and I did try to rebreed her to see if she would catch. Um, if she doesn't catch, I'm butchering her out. If she does catch and she has a really good pregnancy with really good grow outs, then I'm still going to butcher her. Her grow outs are abysmal at best. Uh, normally she loses about half her litter and she has these perpetual runs that almost look like mini wrecks, but she herself is not a mini rex. So I'm not willing to keep her in my bloodlines. This is Penguin. Y'all know Penguin. Penguin just had a litter. I'm going to be breeding Penguin one more, maybe two more times. And she actually had a daughter that looks identical to Strawberry, but is a girl. So I'm looking at replacing Penguin with her daughter here in the very near future. But first I do want to breed her one more time to Strawberry to see if we can get one more really nice litter. But there's no point in keeping her past that if her daughter uh, is going to be better than her. So we'll see how the daughter grows out and I will breed that daughter one time and see if she is qualified to replace Penguin. And if she is, Penguin will be replaced. This is three, three is the daughter of one. She is on trial right now to see if she grows out because she has a similar type to one, but if she ends up being bigger than one, she will be her mother's replacement. But if she doesn't end up being bigger than one, then one has this beautiful litter of chinchillas and I will find a replacement for her out of those. Lulu's staying, you can't convince me otherwise. She is just perfection. This chunky girl did amazing at show and I have quite a few people who are going to want babies off of her soon. So uh, she's definitely staying. Sadie is going with no replacement. I don't want casters in my line anymore. I am going to talk to some friends to see if they need a high roughest caster in their breeding program. With that being said, if y'all are in the Colorado area and you need a gorgeous high roughest caster with some pretty good type, she is shedding and molting right now. So her coat's a little meh at the moment, but when she does fill out, she's very nice. Very great mom, good at what she does. And her babies, when bred to a black, have nearly perfect coat. Um, I just, I don't wanna be in casters anymore and I don't have the space to keep a caster that I'm not willing to breed. Emma did not do the best show, but she did not do the worst. Um, I do want to breed her to alpha uh, to increase the size of our bloodlines, but this girl is mean. Uh, she bit two grow outs through the cage on the nose. So um, I put her back to, next to her sister because her sister's just as snarky as she is and bit her back. But um, she's in timeout right now for not being nice to her sidekicks. And if she continues it, she's going to end up in a, a stack with no neighbors. But Emma for now is staying and she is going to have a couple litters for us at least just because I really, really want to keep um, her in my bloodlines. Miss Solstice is the girl of the hour here. Um, she had nine babies. We had two pass. One was a runt. One ended up outside the nesting box and I didn't catch it quick enough. Um, but Solstice is doing a really great job and I'm looking at keeping her for now. But if she continues to produce, I'll keep her. If not, Lulu is her daughter. And then I have this litter out of strawberry. So I'll be very interested to see if anyone is better than her and eventually if they do replace her. Miss Hawk was supposed to have her babies a couple of days ago. I'm gonna give her more time, of course, but I would really like for her to have more babies. Um, Freak Junior was out of her litter and the only survivor that uh, we had, unfortunately, out of that litter. So I'm hoping for better this time. 
Um, if she doesn't catch, I'll just rebreed her to Freak. I really don't want to let her go yet, but I met an amazing uh, Californian breeder at the last show. And if she doesn't start producing, I'm going to get a new uh, rabbit to replace her. Mr. Lemon is Alpha's son, and he, just like three, is working on being a replacement. Um, I really like his type, but he is just a baby, and he needs to have some grow out time. If he gets larger than Alpha, we're going to keep him. If he's smaller than Alpha, we're not going to keep him. But Lemon um, was in a group of grow outs, and I honestly, uh, I wanted the black one out of that grow out, but Lemon was just spectacular in his growth. He tripled the size of his brothers fairly quickly. So um, after I called that group, uh, Lemon is the only one left. I learned something very interesting at show, and that's Mr. Freaky Boy here is showable despite the fact that he looks blue on his points. Uh, the Californian breeder I was talking about earlier, I showed uh, her a picture and she's like, oh yeah, those points are showable as long as the points are darker than a sheet of paper. It depends on the judge, of course, but for the most part, they're not going to kick you out. So Freaky Boy here is showable. So next show, you might see Mr. Freak. Vanessa and her gang are getting so big. Um, I'm keeping Vanessa. Uh, she is amazing. Her fur is very plush. She has a standing fur compared to the rolling fur of Wiley. Um, so she's improving the fur lines on my silver fox. And of her babies, I definitely want to keep one of them. Um, and she's to standard. But there's another one in here that uh, we think is a blue carrier because of their eyes. Um, that I'm going to keep and grow out just to see if maybe she is a blue carrier and if need be um, You know read her a couple times to see if we can get anything with that being said a couple of the does in here are going to a new home And I have a buck that's up for grabs um, I don't know though if I actually am going to sell him or not because uh, he is the smallest out of the litter So if he has great type and he grows out better once we remove him from mom, maybe I'll sell him Mr. Moosey Goosey, of course, is going to stay. This is our grow out pen of does. Um, Y'all remember Daisy? Daisy is going to go be a pet at my sister's house. But the only doe I am keeping is that little black and white doe right there. Um, a little strawberry lookalike. She is the daughter of Penguin, and she is the one I'm looking at keeping. Everyone else is either going to go to a new program or end up in the stew pot, other than Miss Daisy Daisy. Daisy is going to go be a house pet. Mr. Eduardo. Um, unfortunately, with Eduardo, I don't like how he's growing out. I don't like how he's, gonna do, or how he's been doing that show. Um, I might breed him once to Vanessa just to see if we can get something better out of him as a replacement. But I think we're going to be removing him from our program. And um, I also have some silver foxes coming in, but y'all are gonna have to wait for that. That's a surprise. And y'all, of course, know Mr. Wiley. Our, I'm going to bite the judges and still place a very well boy. Naughty, naughty of him. Um, Wiley, at the last competition, got a best opposite in his breed. And then he got a second place in juniors on the other show. So Mr. Wiley is a fan favorite, and he's looking at being the top breeding buck right now for my silvers. So good job, Mr. Wiley, man. It's strawberry. Need I say more as to whether he is staying in the program? Of course, we have Miss One. Uh, for now, she's staying. I'm going to see how she grows out. I might breed her one more time to Alpha. But other than that, I want to keep a solid chinchilla out of her litter and a broken chinchilla out of her litter. And I'll keep the best growing out of those does to replace her. Um, she's been a great mom, don't get me wrong, but she's small and I want something a bit bigger. The rest of one's litter is down here with uh, our girl over here, Tati, along with Miss Chow Chow. Um, like I said, with the top litter, I'm going to be keeping the largest. This little broken is not going to stay. The little broken black, I don't want another broken black, I want chinchillas. Chow Chow is staying, of course, and our girl Tati has some work to do to build more babies. I am working on replacing Alpha. If Lemon does not grow up the way I want him to, Mr. Alpha is going to be replaced by one of Emma or Lizzie's babies. But for now, he's doing well. I just don't like his size. I want something a bit bigger. 
So that's another reason we brought Emma and Lizzie in here, is to fix our size situation on our box. Raven is in the butcher barn right now. I'm not looking at butchering her, but with her blowing as much fur as she was, I was worried about the integrity of the bottom of her feet because uh, she blew fur until she was like naked. So uh, as she's growing fur back, I just wanted her to have a more solid bottom to take care of her. But still looking at keeping her um, just to grow out and see how she does. Um, if she meets the requirements that I need, of course we'll be keeping her. If not, we'll be replacing her. But I'm really hoping Raven meets her quota. Well, that baby just gave me a heart attack. He's fine, but he's just sleeping upside down. Jesus Christ, why are you like that little strawberry monster? There we go. Anyway, uh, this is the cage of buck grow outs from our uh, last two mini Rex litters. And I'm not looking at keeping in any of them. Um, I might keep that Vienna marked long enough to breed to Solstice, so for about three months, but he will not be a permanent one in our program, and mostly because I like the way Strawberry looks way better, and I just need an up for our Vienna, just one litter to get a good blue-eyed white, and otherwise I don't need any more bucks. But um, I talked about Sadie and how her roughest is meh. His roughest is more correct. Um, as you can see, he has that nice uh, dark overlay on top and my um, my sh uh, casters shed out that fawn on the side and get super, super dark with age. So hopefully somebody wants him because he has great type, but if not, he'll just go in the stew pot. That little black right there, that solid black that isn't my Vienna carrier has beautiful type. Oh my God, is he gorgeous, but he is not... Um, a replacement for strawberry in my mind, though he comes pretty gosh darn close. But yeah, so these bucks aren't staying either. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the surprise I promised you, Miss Belle, the girl I have been talking about eating for six months because she wouldn't have babies and she lost an entire litter of champagnes. Well, y'all, she must have heard me complaining because at 2 a.m. last night, Miss Belle had this gorgeous litter of champagnes. There are seven in all. Um, I just need one dough to replace her. But for now, she did it. She did the Dosh Garn thing. She had babies and that's all I really needed. I needed her to have babies. This has been so many months in the making and I was at the point where I was going to give up on my champagnes. But look at these tiny, tinies. So I'm super excited for this and I will be keeping back a doe out of this litter and maybe a buck if they are better than moose. Um, in theory, I should have two bucks uh, at a time in our barn per breed, just in case something happens to one of the bucks, don't get me wrong. Um, but with that being said, I need does more than I need bucks because right now I have one doe and to fill my quotas, I technically need three. So look at these guys. It's like a bunch of little luckies but there's a whole group. I'm so excited to see how she does, but I'm also very, very nervous because she stopped producing milk last time, which was why Lucky was in with our other does. So I'm going to be keeping a very, very careful eye on these guys. And if need be, um, Solstice will pull double duty, or I'm hoping, I'm hoping to goodness, that our Californian has her babies. So I have that doe just in case, but... Belle, the jerk, had the babies in the corner. She built an appropriate sized nest on the wire. The babies didn't fall through and I was checking every hour just to verify. But much to her chagrin, I moved all the babies into this nesting box so I don't have to worry about them falling out. But yeah, good job, Belle. Please keep it up because you're driving me nuts, girly. So yeah, show made me kick myself in the butt a little more and decide on butchering some more animals out. Um, with that being said, um, I'm having a video coming out. I just did a butcher on four rabbits, and I'm going to go more in depth on why I butchered them out. Um, and these guys will be butchered within the next month. Um, a lot of them are going to be butchered next week after I verify whether they're pregnant or not, if I want to keep anyone or not. Because um, in some instances, it's really simple, and it's just been me emotionally lagging behind. But in other cases, I do need to wait till a little later until we have some of these grow outs grow out. So I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I'm so excited that Belle finally had babies 
and I hope y'all are as excited as I am. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.